Mike Tyson was upset that P. Diddy and them had everything to do with the Tupac situation because Mike Tyson was just as big of a Tupac fan as everybody else and all of y'all. At the end of the day, y'all gotta realize everybody that's on Tupac's side is the ones that's speaking out. The fact that Kefi D came with the information, and he dropped the ball on them, man. Uh, those three dudes that passed and they was in that white Cadillac with them, they never said anything, but the only person who talked was Kefi D. They made a pact that night with Diddy on the phone. His bodyguard heard everything that they swore they was never gonna say anything about the Tupac. But once them dudes started falling out, falling out and everything like that, then Keith Keefe D, he got too money hungry and went and started making the books because the investigators, they got him jealous. They got him salty because they was all making all the money. The dude who was the first responder, the policeman, he became famous because he was the last person to hear what Tupac said. This was what made Keefe D and pushed him to the edge to go on Vlad right away. He went on Vlad with a vendetta against Tupac. This is why he dissed him on Vlad, said he was break dancing, doing all that stuff. Nobody's going to be dancing when you got hit like to, the way that Tupac got hit, man. At the end, y'all gotta realize if you are a Tupac fan, put two two twos in the comment section because we all gotta get justice for Tupac. We can't let this whole thing happen without going unsolved. They gotta solve the Tupac case and they are gonna do the biggie right after it because P. Diddy knows exactly what he did in his role. This is why they're looking at him. This is the reason why they waited eight years since Keefe D started putting out the information like that. When they started going on the books, the people who was actually publishing it was part of the feds the whole entire time, man. Everything alleged and for entertainment purposes. And everybody knows for a fact that it was Keefe D who was at both scenes. If everybody sat back and look at one, one thing, we saw the females across the street with the Tupac story. Next thing you know, they're across the street at the Biggie story. So how can a car counter you off, pull right up on the side of you? They pulled up on Flamingo and Cobalt. This is why we sat back and we looked at everything and we have to realize that Keefe D was the main one who told P. Diddy, man, you gonna either pay me my money or I'm literally, I'm going to do as many interviews as I want to. As long as Keefe D kept doing them interviews over the 30 years that Tupac got killed, I want everybody to look at this. Keefe D, he went on the wrong channel. This is why he got exposed. This is why the feds picked him up. Once the feds came in, they said they brought all of the evidence. They said that P. Diddy was the main one involved in both of these incidents. In these incidents, it led Suge Knight to getting locked up. P. Diddy said that he don't care if Biggie get killed, he don't care if Tupac gone, and he don't care if Suge get locked up. Everybody know for a fact that this is something that everybody can really pay attention to. This gonna really hurt the whole New York because Tupac was from New York. Biggie was from New York, but Tupac did music in LA. LA, they know for a fact that if Biggie wasn't out there, he would have never got hit up because if he was in the same hood, it wouldn't have never went down like that. They told Biggie to get in a whole nother car. Why wasn't these rappers in the car with people who would be protecting them? Why were they in the car that got shot up only on their side? I want you guys to really understand what's going on. Mike Tyson, he don't want to involve himself and nothing that P. Diddy has going on. P. Diddy is gonna ruin everything. Should Knight, he was the main one who sat back. He wanted to get up out this situation, but it was too late. Throw them R.I.P. Tupac's down in the comment section if you want justice for Tupac. Tupac know for a fact that if he would've never went to that fight. Orlando, they follow him. They already knew he was gonna be there. They knew exactly what was gonna go down. We know for a fact that Greg Caden was the main one. He's the one who basically put the whole pieces of the puzzle together, which led us to even finding out what really happened in the situation. We know the people went down there, they saw at the MGM how the footage was only pointing towards one way. And this is why TMZ said that even though the footage was old, it still was able to convict Keefe D. And the million dollar check for Tupac was cut from a bodega in New York. P. Diddy from New York, Tupac from New York, and Biggie from New York. Why is everybody in the whole entire story from New York arguing and bigger backer and against themselves, but then whole time, how does P. Diddy get in touch with the dudes from LA that ended up doing this to Tupac? One thing that people gotta pay attention to is that this whole thing with Biggie, Pac, 
Diddy, every Keefe D, Suge Knight, everything is only including people from LA and New York. This is why they told Mike Tyson tried to tell Tupac to not get involved in the East Coast, West Coast, because ultimately the dudes from New York that he was getting more money than. You gotta remember, Tupac was getting more money than P. Diddy at that time. P. Diddy took his First million dollars he made and he put it down as a down payment to do this whole entire thing, man. Tupac seen it coming. You got to remember, Mike Tyson had all that money from the fights that he was winning, 30 million. Tupac was betting with him. Pac came down there to bet 10 million on Mike Tyson. This is the reason why P. Diddy even had the idea to put the million dollars out on Tupac. The reason why they found this out so after so long was because the three other dudes kept it a secret, but they ended up, Pat Keefe D was the last guy left. This is why they going hard on him because at the end of the day, they knew that he had all that time to go and be on the run. He could have left, he could have went to Bali and everything, but he went back to the same city that Tupac got hit in. This is how you know people must be going and taking agreements and deals and this and that. He already took the proffer agreement. What else would he take? This is a bad look on Keefe D and his people because he's telling and everybody says and that he might out of all the people that has something to do with Tupac. He's caught up in this the most likely chance that he's gonna be the one that ends up pointing the final finger at P. Diddy because he knows. And P. Diddy know that Keefe D is not to be trusted because Keefe D and the killers, they wasn't even paid to do it. They did it out of sporadic moment of that fight. Zip took the money. Once Zip took the money, it was over with. And this is what implemented Keefe D. Keefe D wanted to take all of the credit from his nephew. And I know everybody sit back and say Keefe D is an older guy. He, he was in the streets once upon a time, but we have to understand he's out of the streets. Why is you still in the car with the younger guys passing guns to the back? The Glock that they used came back to multiple bodies. I want everybody to really look at this because Tupac was one of the main ones who he wanted everybody to real life be happy. Tupac wanted this whole generation to really do what they gotta do, but we all see the outcome of that. We see what happens when you're in the passenger seat and you're not driving the car. This is why I always say, do not be in the left lane if you know you in tour with somebody. If you just got into a fight at a casino, hotel, club, anything, you know for a fact you got to get up out that jam and you got to stay in the right lane. Do not park in the parking garage. You have to park either in valet or make sure you have security. Why is it that Tupac was at that scene? And we don't, this is why we don't recommend for people to be getting in trouble in the streets like that. Because you see how all of this comes down. They might start the Rico on bad boys. They might do this. They might do that. At the end of the day, the fans was watching them the whole time. Greg Caden had this case on lock from the very beginning. They solved it in 2005, but they wouldn't let him go after him because he was still out of the jurisdiction. You got to remember the two things. When something happens in LA, but they it, it has people connected in LA, this is what gave them the reason to go all the way to Vegas to solve the Tupac thing. When they did the raid on Keefe D's garage, they found an assortment of items in there and they booked it as evidences number one through 10. When they looked at each single bag, they found shell casings, bullets, everything that matched a late 1996 sale of everything that was there. They, they, they wondered, how does Zip run off with the money? This is why you can't trust people that's doing dirt in the streets because you think the plan is gonna go exactly, oh, like the boss man said, do this and you gotta do it. No, every man is for themselves when it comes to something like a street play, like them setting up Tupac. So eventually, when the, when the hit got done, however it did allegedly, when the money got paid out, of course the guy in the middle is gonna take it. This was his plan from the very beginning. He said, I'ma let him snitch on himself and tell on himself for setting up a hit, and I'ma let them actually crash out for doing it, and I'ma get rich off of it because he's the middle guy who's supposed to only handle the million dollars. That's why you can't put all your trust into somebody who was a finesser. This is what Zavon Zip was doing, saying he was P. Diddy's uncle finessing the 4040 Club, Club 662, and everything in between, man. And we know for a fight that Officer Wright, he was the main one at the scene. He let the, he let the dudes walk right around him, and this is why they got Biggie. But this goes back to Pop. We got a flashback and look at the fact that he was with Suge Knight. 
Tupac was the one that hit Orlando Brown, so the hit was definitely on Tupac because P. Diddy already put the million dollars up. Zip took it. Once Zip took it and then instantly tell Puff, like, yeah, okay, we gave the money to Keefe D. He lied and told him that he gave the money to Keefe D. And this is why it led them to break up.